cabinet engaged motorists in the morning traffic and they also visited some schools. The Premier is there due to visit shops owned by foreign nationals in Duncan Village to engage them directly about the issue. So now, let's cross live to our report in East London, Unati Bingose, who's standing by with the Premier. Unati, a very good morning to you and uh, welcome. Thank you very much, Elvis. Indeed, we are coming to you live from the Eastern Cape. Why in East London, to be in particular? As you rightly pointed out, we are in an anti-xenophobic march. We started at around 7 o'clock um, this morning. We started with, uh, with passing of pamphlets to passing motorists at a couple of inter intersections here. And then we moved to school because the focus is on the future this time around. To, to ensure that these young learners grow up knowing that they have to um, interact with these people who are foreign nationals and who are living amongst us here in the Eastern Cape. And um, the Eastern Cape is one of those provinces, unfortunately, that, is, that have taken part uh, in these xenophobic uh, um, attacks with the incident that happened um, in Kala, I think it was uh, last week. Uh, uh, but the, prim the Premier of the province is not taking any chances. They have embarked on a week-long program that started yesterday and is expected to continue um, up until Friday. They are here in East London t today to sensitize the people of, of, of this area not to get involved in these attacks and of course to encourage them to continue living with these foreigners the way they've always lived with them. I mean even back in 2008 when these sporadic attacks on foreign nationals started, even here in the Eastern Cape, East London thankfully was not part of that. So the Premier is here today to encourage the people of East London to live in harmony with these people. However, we are now joined by him uh, to speak more about what is happening here. A very good morning to you, Premier, and a um, warm welcome to, to AM News. I'm sure you must be encouraged uh, with the kind of reception you are getting here. Well, thank you. Good morning. Uh, indeed, we are very much encouraged uh, with uh, the reception we are receiving. Uh, the people are very supportive. Uh, they are uh, embracing, uh, they are living side by side uh, with uh, uh, foreign nationals here and uh, the message is resonating well with them. They are also uh, quite uh, uh, infuriated by what uh, we've seen in the other parts of the country. So uh, where the president has uh, uh, in, instructed us to, uh, to be on the ground, uh, we've heeded that and uh, here in East London we're getting uh, uh, cooperation and support for the initiative. I saw you interacting with some of these foreign shop owners uh, in the townships here. I'm um, sure it's also encouraging to see uh, that uh, their shops are uh, up and running. Yes, it is, and uh, more so I wanted to establish as to how they are uh, feeling, uh, what is the nature of the uh, interaction with the community. They are very happy, the community treats them well. They, in fact, elsewhere they tell us that uh, we would struggle very much. Uh, we survive because they are here with us. Uh, they work very well with the community. So they are very much uh, also encouraged by the fact that uh, they see the visibility of the leadership of government, the leadership of our community, speaking out uh, against uh, these uh, xenophobic attacks. Uh, we've also been interacting with uh, their organized uh, formations uh, within the province, and uh, we're looking forward uh, to working continuously with them so that we uh, really make sure that in the province we don't have any such outbreaks again. Lastly, with all this harmonious uh, relationship between foreigners and uh, locals here in, in, in the Eastern Cape, there is that unfortunate incident that happened, that happened in Kala last week. What's the feedback you're getting from there? Well, uh, again, uh, it's a very specific matter that was precipitated by a certain occurrence uh, for which uh, those that uh, were involved in uh, otherwise what was a criminal activity have appeared in court. Uh, in fact, uh, an unfortunate incident occurred where there was a murder. Uh, allegedly by uh, one of the uh, foreign nationals. Uh, that matter is now in court. The community was quite incensed at that and of course others uh, sought uh, to climb into what's happening nationally but it's since been contained. Uh, the mayor working together with the leadership of the structures there, the church, have really quietened the situation. It's under control and we will be going there again as the executive council just to make sure that we leave nothing to chance. The community is very much uh, alert and uh, to this uh, and they are responding positively to the campaign uh, of uh, no violence against uh, those of uh, foreign origins. 
Right, and uh, the foreigners, are they back in uh, running their businesses in Kala from the information you're getting? From what I have, uh, they are back at work and uh, they, there is a sense of calm in the environment. Yeah. Premier, let me not take up any more of your time. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Well, that was the Premier of the Eastern Cape. Uh, the program continues. He is going, going down to, to meet with the community, with the general community um, at the Gombo Wall. Uh, that's where he'll be interacting with the members of the community. However, speaking to some of the foreign nationals here, I mean, we, we were at one of the schools um, here in East London and talking to the learners who are of, of foreign origin, they say that uh, they really, really appreciate uh, uh, the initiative that government is, 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 is taking. And they say that uh, they were feeling a bit uncertain with what was happening um, over the past two weeks uh, when these attacks uh, were taking place, not knowing when uh, or, or if they will come under attack themselves. However, they say they, say they feel a bit more assured with what is happening here now. Uh, with that, let's hand back to you guys in Joburg. Thank you, Nati Vingose in the Eastern Cape there.